Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, there you are, Butthole. All right, let's get to work. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito, but the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo t tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom and- Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Butto. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. Night time. That's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a keen. You can use your snapping pops to knock things down. See ya, bud. No, stay out. Stay out. Captain Diabetes! <laughs> 
a mild-mannered gentleman with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. Fuck it, bitch. Let's see how you like this. I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick. Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Attack! Alright, sidekick, we have a job to do! Go on in, there's a shortcut through human kite space. Kyle's off on another mission right now. We're on. Just head upstairs. The shortcut's up there in the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry and strong. I call it. Nice one, Zachik. This is Humankind's secret base. Farts make me angry. The coon says it's because my mom farted when she gave birth to me, and that's why I have diabetes. I don't think that's why I have diabetes, though. No. I think it was a gift to help fight crime. The shortcut is through that window. I don't have my own secret base, but if I did, at least I'll clean it up. Well done, sidekick! This shortcut will take us right into the heart of downtown South Park. Come on, sidekick. Do not be afraid. The fearless hero and his sidekick descend into the dark night, ready to strike down evil and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Coon made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square! <laughs> Woo! Burnham County fucking rocks! Best band in the fucking world! They could have me if they want! Yeehaw! Hey, no. If only there was a way to get first these citizens blocking the road! Fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm going. Sidekick, I thought I made myself clear. How can we get the high diabetic rage? We'll do just a trick. Oh my god, here it comes. Yes, so much sugar. Yeah! I need insulin. I need insulin fast. Ugh. And I am back to normal. You see how masterfully I have learned to control my diabetes. Follow me this way. Here it is. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters and lots of boobies inside. Come on, let's go. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Stand aside, citizen. It is I, Captain Diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. Hmm. What to do? Hmm. 
Hmm, there must be another way in somewhere. Look at this, sidekick. A way in. All we need is a path up there. Great detective work, sidekick. Now we just need a way up there. Oh, of course. Stand aside, sidekick. Taste of paradise, get down on your knees and pray for Angel. Hallelujah. Daycare is behind the bar, sweetie. Aren't you a little too young to be in here? Sorry, kid. I gotta concentrate. This next dancer needs... Still time to get your GED. Give it up for Trinity. We have to pick someone and take them to the VIP room. They took my job. Hey, sidekick. No luck, huh? That's okay. I found a couple guys. Remember to just play along. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I don't know, she's kind of short. I like them short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, let's get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick. You know what this means. <sighs> Don't forget to bring a towel. Aw, oh, come on. You're killing my buzz here. <coughs> Jesus, babe, you're stinking up the VIP room. <sighs> oh, no! Oh, fuck! What kind of move was that? Oh, Greg! Oh. Look, I'm not gonna pay for this. Come on! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. Oh, Jesus, baby, you're sticking up the VIP room. What the fuck? Oh, no. 
no, stop. Let, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Okay, chat time. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? Any of you ever dance with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course. Hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid. Come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Ha-ha. I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. You won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes. I'll need the manager if you have any complaints about your lap dance experience at the Peppermint Hippo, gentlemen. Adieu. Great work, new kid. Now let's get back to the main floor. All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. New kid, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. I got it. Gin and tonics always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. Night school's in session. Oh Still time I'm to get your GED. Give it up for Trinity. Pick your poison, big guy. Did we run out of alcohol and nobody told the DJ? What's you the deal here, guys? The Cheers, big guy. Let's keep looking. Hey, that looks like something we can put in a drink. Ah, that looks kind of dangerous. Whoa, watch out for that open flame. I wonder what would happen if you fired it on us. Like, what are those guys? Ah, that was effective, sidekick. I'll let you hold all the gross stuff, sidekick. A perfect addition to our concoction. Hmm, I wonder if it needs one more thing. Hmm, do you think it's gross enough to knock the DJ out of commission? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! <sighs> Sorry you had to see that, sidekick. But nothing in this world makes me more angry than farts. It awakens the deep-seated rage that I harbor within me. I wish it didn't have to be farts, but that'll definitely take the DJ out long enough for us to call out Classy. No lineup is complete without a little taste of paradise. Get down on your knees and pray for Angel. Hallelujah. All right, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Ugh. Oh. Oh, man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your winters. Great work, new kid. Wow. All right, guys, put your hands together. Be sure to tip your winters. These things are about to get a little bit hot on the main stage. Please welcome Classy. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick that fucks the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute, you ain't the DJ. That must be her, new kid. Oh shit, it's 5-0. Cops are here. After her. She went through here, sidekick. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies.
By the power of diabetes, I implore you to stand down, lady. up in this combat shit. You just want to get to the far end of the room as fast as your little legs can take you there. Hope you have some fast attacks. Oh, you little bastards done fucked up. Go get them, Bootay. Look out, ladies and gents, here comes the queen of creepies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's Spontaneous Bootay. Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this bootay. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. I'm gonna break every bone in your body with my booty, baby. Bootay. Oh, my God, she'll crush us alive with her massive butt. Fair warning, that ass kills. Uh-uh, you'll never take me alive! We can't let her get away, sidekick! Get inside. Go on, scram! I ain't afraid to use this thing. Come on, you kids! Into the restaurant! We just gotta get that line! Stand aside, psychic! It is time for diabetic rage! Even my diabetic rage can't move this sign. Oh, God. It's too much. I need my insulin. I need my... Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm out of insulin. You got to help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm, I'm dying. Oh, God. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Everything cool over there? Okay, keep, keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted Tex Mix. Tex Mix. Not just any handcrafted Tex Mix. It's got to be something extra special. Special. You know what to do, new kid. I'm alive? What happened? Who are you? Ah! Wait a minute. What happened? I thought I died from diabetes. I remember seeing a bright light. The hand of God reaching towards me. Then somebody farted in my face and I was back. I can almost still smell it. <laughs> wow, your farts can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that scripture. Who, friends? We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant, requesting backup. You heard him. All coon friends to the Book of the Fagagini. And I said, you know what your problem is? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. I did. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch. You lush. <laughs> 
I just don't get how these people can get high every night and feel like it's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, Would you obviously like aren't happy. There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. We need to get all this pasta and the meatballs out to the customers. That looks dangerous, Patrick. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Coonan friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage. Ugh. Wait, that's it? Your farts, psychic! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course. The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers. We've got to get through there and get the classy, psychic. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. Just tell me where to stand. All right, ready when you are. We did it. The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. Could be a boss battle coming up. Better make sure you're stocked up on healing items and have your best artifacts equipped. That was a hell of a tip. Curse it, the path is blocked. Hey, I thought we were friends. I am not amused. Diabetes says quit it. Hold on, psychic. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, diabetes! you the cops were chasing me and you led them here you stupid bitch uh-uh who you calling a stupid bitch do i look like your mama let's dig it up classy these kids are cops that ain't no cop 
That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor, and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. But that is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them, along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Ah! Oh, shit. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There. Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Shit. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the streets. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that Cass? Okay, that's his little Asian freak name, Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now. Who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet, or people are gonna learn the truth. 
that we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. How do you do that? That was dumb. All right, butt lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, out. Oh, it's you again. Sup, hero? Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead. Have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a antsy. I look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room, the fast. <laughs> All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibrillator. All right, new kid. Just stand still, and I'll talk you through this. Check out the new hero DNA slot I opened up for you. Stuff you insert here will make a big impact on your combat p p p your combat p p effectiveness. Pick the one that best suits your power loadout. Just keep in mind that a big damage boost may mean less health, or vice versa. Kind of like how steroids shrink your buffs. Or so I've read. Well, all right. Now you know what real power feels like. Pretty dang good. That should do it, new kid. Hope you have a grasp of it. Now get out there and kick some booty. What the fuck you wearing? New kid, this is the human kite. You know that little problem you helped me take care of? Well, it's back. Can you come to my house ASAP, please? Help! Somebody help me! You made a real mistake when you attacked us. Oh, wow, you guys seem really cool. Too bad we have to kick your ass. Hey, guys, are we having fun? You picked a fight with the wrong bitches. You really think you're tough shit, don't you? Well, it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. Someone's about to get stuffed someplace dark and smell. Ellie!
You messed with the wrong raisin sugar. Get him, girl! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram. I'm totally getting trolled right now. What the F? Heather, why'd you tweet that I was going out with Eric Cartman? I didn't! I'm totally getting trolled right now, too! What the fuck? What the fuck? I just lost all my followers! I have to get to a computer! What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, new kid. Don't worry. I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. What do you think? You think girls are just as good a gamers as you boys? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on... Call Girl. Watch your back, handsome! Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. The common folks can relate to me. I've been known to have a glass of rosé before seven. Yes, ma'am. And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity! I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me! Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah! 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 Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, uh. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason! Try again! It's a nice day, isn't it? Hmm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. Alright, round two! I ate a hamburger last week. Alright, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression, about to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression, hit him. Oh, oh. not bad, kid, not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression! Hit him! Uh, uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. 
Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers, and the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. Thanks for coming. It's over here. In the backyard. You can come over and play later. I'm big! Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle. I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. This barrier represents the Red Sea, which you will be unable to part without Moses on your side. Done it. <laughs> okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew faith to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmel Shigina. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly and... Oh, Jesus, it came off. Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle. Then give up. Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> And Sheila! These kids are picking on me! What, what, what? Who's picking on you? Who are you kids? I'll call your mothers right now! Yeah, get them, Aunt Sheila! Oh, I just know I'm gonna mess... Okay. Nice going, guys. Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, Mom. No police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just... I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look, my kite's up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back team. Oh, I hate back team because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. Well, crap. How are we going to get that kite down? When you need to reach high, out-of-the-way spots, give me a call, and we'll farcore up there. Man, I hope I never need to do that in public, though. Kind of embarrassing. Now this may sting a little, Bubby. Oh, ow! Ouch! Okay, I forgive you, new kid. Say, human kite from an alternate universe. Oh, wonderful. See you later, Coonstagram buddy. Oh, okay. I'll take a picture if we can do it quick. Ooh. 
Okay, let me get back to... Alright, listen. I have this ex-friend who I hate now, and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. Get my fucking laptop back for that prick. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? How are those taste tests coming, son? I can't even taste the difference anymore! Well, keep sampling. We need to come up with the perfect sunset blend. What's this? Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back! We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine! I paid for him, and I have the receipt! You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that! Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? Ugh. Fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Too bad, new kid. Miners aren't allowed in a place like that. Of course, you aren't just any miner. I was this high. <laughs> I had sex with a big old black beach towel. I can see my house from here. Oh, you found me. Oh, you found me! Craft it, new kid. Just like I taught you. Go on, don't be shy.
new kid. I see you've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Uh, hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you want to get high? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it! And you work here in a pot store? Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh? I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. It turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in a town and we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, Classy. Yeah, Classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea. No, 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 no. It's uh, Classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that Classy. Sure, I got her order. There she is. See, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax cushion with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool. Relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts. I can't sleep. I got no appetite. The shitty town is so fucked up. We gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick lickers coming into my store telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you. You relax. You're a cow. Tenders, get in here! It's time to give these kids a fucking consultation! Be careful! There's product everywhere! Ah. Shit, now you light my stock on fire! Sure smells nice, though. God's air freshener. Spurt another pal! Oh man, <laughs> I was hoping you'd burn that one too, make it a real party atmosphere in here. Light, light up that last pile. It's go time. Now for my best attack, my best attack. My... Hey guys, oh, hey, how you been, Eric? Oh, you're a cool guy, man. Oh, I'm psyched to see you, man. Yeah, this is for Classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. So come by any time for a hookup. Well done, new kid. Now get that over to Classy. See? Here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well better have my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fast Pass. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the used store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken there. The used store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh, uh. Fast pass. Fast pass. Fast pass out. Looky, looky, if it ain't my little hero.
Hey, kid. You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday, okay? Um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks, okay. <laughs>